Today we're taking a look at the MLB Home Run Derby, which are happening on Monday, July 18, 2022. And giving you betting tips and predictions in general on that event. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 360 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. All eyes will be on Los Angeles on Monday, July 18, as Major League Baseball kicks its all-star game festivities into high gear with a 2022 home run derby. The eagerly anticipated event will feature eight of the game's most prolific sluggers, including two-time defending champion Pete Alonso. It's no surprise that Alonso, who has already hit 24 dingers this season, has the best home run derby odds as a plus 200 favorite to win this must-see event. Let's examine the latest odds and break down the field for what should be a star-studded show at Dodger Stadium, with a top prize of $1 million on the line. Our best bet Juan Soto. While Alonso is a recent champion in this event, Juan Soto has experienced success with the home run derby before. Just last year Soto outlasted Shohei Itani in his opening round matchup before narrowly losing to eventual champion Pete Alonso. However, Soto put up a spirited fight and lost by just a single home run. Soto's first round matchup is manageable, as he'll go up against Cleveland's Jose Ramirez. Although Ramirez may be a tough opponent, we feel it's better to side with Soto. The national slugger has better ISO power numbers this month, to the tune of five home runs. Soto's half of the draw is a bit easier, as he gets to take on Kyle Schwarber in the semifinals instead of Alonso. While Schwarber is second in the majors in home runs, Soto is near the top of the league in XSLG and exit velocity off the bat. If anyone is going to take down Schwarber on this side of the bracket, it's Soto. And even if Soto sees Alonso in the final, only one player in MLB history has ever won three straight home run derbies. With trade talks potentially on the horizon, Soto will want to put on a show on the all-star stage. He's hit big home runs in Dodger Stadium previously and should succeed once again in this competition. And our best first-round bet Corey Seager over Julio Rodriguez. Our best first-round bet is banking on a former Dodger to have success at a familiar ballpark. Corey Seager is putting up some outstanding power numbers this season, but not many are paying attention to him outside of Arlington, Texas. The shortstop's power hitting ability has always been underrated, but Seager is in the top 4% of baseball in XSLG and near the top 10% in hard hit rate. His opponent Julio Rodriguez does have some impressive exit velocity numbers in his own right. However, I think the familiarity will really come into play in Seager's favor. Seager is hitting from the left side in a familiar ballpark that caters to lefties with its shorter distance to right field. With a home run in nearly 7% of his plate appearances this season, I don't see why Seager isn't favored in this matchup. Now for the MLB Home Run Derby favorites. Pete Alonso New York Mets, plus 200. 2022 home runs total. 24. Exit velocity. 89.9 longest home run. 447 feet. Alonso may not lead the major in home runs, that honor belongs to Aaron Judge, but he is the reigning two-time champ, and his exploits on baseball's biggest stage bear revisiting. The Mets' first baseman bested Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in 2019 by hitting 23 taters in the final round, including a 458-foot bomb with 112 to go in regulation. The 2020 event was cancelled due to the pandemic, but Alonso came roaring back in 2021 by hitting 51 home runs in the first two rounds and 74 overall. His longest was a 509-footer that instantly brought fans to their feet. Alonso has massive power and gets a lot of loft on the ball, making him impossible to overlook as he attempts to become the second player since Ken Griffey Jr. to win this event three times and the first to win it three consecutive times. Kyle Schwarber, Philadelphia Phillies, plus 330. 2022 HR total. 28. Exit velocity. 93. Longest home run. 468 feet. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Schwarber may have found a new home in Philadelphia this season, but the 29-year-old slugger is still crushing balls at a prodigious rate. His longest bomb of the season occurred on April 20, when he took a juicy German Marquez, offering 468 feet to the upper deck. It remains the third-longest home run hit in the big leagues this year. 
Schwarber ranks sixth in the league in average exit velocity and second in barrels, and has the kind of go big or go home mentality tailor made for this kind of spectacle. Ronald Acuna Jr., Atlanta Braves, plus 600. 2022 home runs total. 8 exit velocity. 91.4 longest home run. 450 feet. It's been a tough year for Acuna, who began the season rehabbing an ACL tier that limited him to 82 games in 2021. The former Rookie of the Year finally made his debut on April 28, but his club just 8 homers in 221 at-bats as he tries to regain his power. Given those circumstances, Acuna may seem an unlikely contender for this event, but the three-time All-Star has hit 113 home runs in his first five years, and he advanced to the semifinals in his first home run derby in 2019. Beware the sleeping giant. One player Bowman is shying away from on Monday night is Acuna, who has experience in the event but also faces a huge opening test. The 24-year-old faced Alonso in the second round in 2019, but Alonso hit a monstrous blast at the buzzer to advance. The Mets star beat Vlad Guerrero Jr. in the final for the first of his two titles. Acuna hit 25 homers in the first round in 2019, then managed just 18 in the second. Alonso hit a record 35 in the first round last year. Acuna certainly has the power to compete, and he showed that strength to all fields in the 2019 competition. But he has just eight homers in 56 games since returning from his injury and entering Saturday, he had just one in his past 18 games. He has been visibly struggling to get comfortable at the plate, and while he hasn't played the entire season, he is eighth on his own team in homers. His struggles and his matchup with Alonso don't bode well for him to advance. On the other hand, the E the Home Run Derby features a head-to-head -head format with an eight-man bracket. The champion will have to win three rounds by hitting more home runs than their opponent within the allotted time frame. The first round and second round of the derby will have three minutes on the clock. The final round lasts for two minutes. Every competitor will be awarded 30 seconds of bonus time following each round. A hitter can earn an additional 30 seconds of bonus time if they hit a home run that measures at least 475 feet in the regulation period of that round. Once a player surpasses their matchup in home runs, the clock stops and the round is over. Whoever hits the most home runs in each head-to-head -head matchup advances until a winner is crowned. A home run counts as long as the pitch leaves the pitcher's hand before the clock expires. Hitters have one timeout to take in each round. Timeouts last for 45 seconds. Timeouts are not permitted during bonus time. Spurt knows experience plays a big part in success at the home run derby, and players like Soto and Seager have it. Soto upset top seeded Shohei Itani last season in a swing off, and he has the longest home run ever at the Derby, a 520 foot moon shot. The 23 year old has 19 home runs this season for the Nationals, and he hit 34 last season, in posting a .999 ops. He has hit 117 home runs, and has a .968 ops in 553 career games. Seager has 22 home runs this season for the Rangers, and he is in the Derby for the first time since his rookie year in 2016.